there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel, and I am the Stock Swoosh. And today, I wanted to talk to you about gaps, and specifically golden gaps. I had an inquiry the other day where someone said to me, I thought that all gaps were only for short-term moves. I said, no, 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 that's not true. I never said that. Actually, the way that I figured out how to trade gaps, which I did myself, when I first did it, on my only intention was ever to trade gaps for short moves. But as the years went on and as time went on and I started to follow the gaps that I had previously been trading, I realized that you can trade gaps for not only short, quick moves, but you can also trade gaps for longer moves, for larger moves, which would be for swing trades or for longer term options trades for a couple of days or even for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So the fact is that many, many gaps can be traded for fast trades. Yes, that's true. But my system, the golden gap, the 26 point rating system actually pinpoints institutional money that comes into the stock, whether it's buying it or selling it or shorting it. So therefore, many times the gaps do have what I call follow through moves or what I call continuation gaps. That's something that I actually teach in the trends course. For those of you that are interested specifically in longer term trends, I review that in the trends course, how to see those and spot those. But gaps themselves, the type of gaps that I do, which I rate in the morning in the pre-market, or you can rate them at night in the post-market if there's a gap at night on earnings or news or some kind of sector gap with the market, they can be playing for many different time frames, many different periods. I prefer to do quick, short day trades. It's just my preference. If you only have a window of time between 9.30 and 4 o'clock, you only have six and a half hours to get a trade, to get in and get out and get, make money. As it, on the day, as a day train, I'd rather do it quickly and fast rather than let, let it take six hours plus. So that's just my preference. And that's also one of the reasons that I prefer to short, which is something I'll talk about in another video. But getting back to what I was saying in reference to gaps, you can train my system, the Golden Gap system, for longer term moves too, where you can get bigger targets. Again, it depends on the type of trade you're doing. If you're doing an option or if you're doing a swing trade, a day trade, you've got to get out before four o'clock, but you can use my method for longer term moves. And again, that's something that I didn't know initially when I created a system, but because the rating system, which I use the daily chart to determine the ratings, because it's looking for institutional money, that's what moves stocks, by the way, because it looks for that and pinpoints that, that is how sometimes we get these moves that follow through and continue, which is really beautiful. Facebook was one of those ones to the upside. Apple was one of those ones to the upside. Boeing was one of those ones to the downside, which we did a million times, it feels like, in the last year in 2020. So it depends what stock you're looking at. It depends on the gap. It always goes with the gap rating, but just a pinpoint there. You can use them for short-term moves and long-term moves, which is a really nice part of the system. If you have any questions and you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for upcoming dates. Thanks, everybody, and stay safe.